We know differences among species are important. We know that predators are really important kinds of species that determine the dynamics and the structure of whole communities. And that's because they have effects that not only affect their, the densities of their prey species, but those densities then can have indirect effects throughout entire ecosystems. For example, in 1994, when wolves were reintroduced to Yellowstone National Park, we know that that had consequences not only for the prey of the wolves, deer, but that had indirect consequences that propagated throughout the entire Yellowstone food web. What we are really interested in is looking at the effects of predators in really, really small systems, microbial systems, and how they affect the dynamics of, of their prey and the whole community. We use microcosms as our model systems, and into these we put a range of different microbial organisms. So these included a lot of different species of bacteria and also some predators. What we did was we introduced a mutation into one of the species of bacteria, into a single gene, which changed the way that they interacted with other species in the community. One of the other things that we did was we took away the top predator in, this, in some of these microcosms to look at those effects as well and how those effects might compare to when we added the mutation. As you might expect, when we took away the top predator, this had really big effects on the community. But what we weren't expecting was that the mutations actually had as big of an effect on the community as taking away the top predator. The vast majority of research in ecology in many ways is focused on the effects of extinctions of, the, of predators uh, and how they, their effects can filter down and affect entire ecosystems. What our research shows is that these uh, very small, relatively minor mutations in single genes can actually affect communities from the bottom up and change the dynamics and structure of, of ecosystems in that way. This has really important implications for determining how ecosystems respond to global change. This is a really exciting finding. Um, it's not something that we expected and it's something that we didn't know before that such small changes and even just a single gene can have huge consequences throughout an entire community of different organisms. Mm -hmm.